Well, greetings. This is Trev from OnlinePCLearning.com. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we can use conditional formatting to be able to color a roster depending on whether we've got early, late or night. For instance, in this basic roster that we have, which has multiple sheets and a summary sheet and interface and our lists, we want to be able to, if we were to click down here and choose an early shift, We'd like the cell background to change color to whatever we want, maybe to green. And then of course, if we were to go in and choose a light shift, for instance, in here, then uh, and we choose our shift, we'd like it to change to a different color. If we choose night, a different color, other, as many as you want. How do you do that? Because really, we've got a lot of different varying codes and we want to go the one color and then a lot of different other codes for another color. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it, but to do it, I'm going to take you to a blank workbook, show you how to set it up, and all of the information will be there for you to see. So this is what we're going to be achieving. Here we have two squares on our worksheet that are equivalent to our roster area. And when we click in here and we choose an early shift, we want the color to go green. When we click in and we choose a late shift, we want the color to go, it's blue in this instance. When we go in and choose a night shift, any of these codes and we wanted to change a different color. Now I'm going to show you how to do this with two different methods. One is using conditional formatting along with the VLOOKUP formula and the other is using conditional formatting along with the INDEX and MATCH functions. So there's the three functions we'll be looking at, VLOOKUP, INDEX and MATCH. Here are our two code blocks and one of the things that we need to do is set up a code block or a table that tells us all of our codes and this can be anything that you want. For instance, if we were to put in here 1200 to 1500 as our first code, go back over here, you'll notice that changed color now when we put it in, it'll go back. So we can, we can change whatever code we want but we need to reference the codes by giving them a type next to them and then we look this table up to find out when we enter the code what it is, whether it's an early, or late or night, and then we use our conditional formatting accordingly. Now over with the index match, the beauty of the index match is, it's a little bit harder to put up, I guess, but it doesn't matter where your columns are situated. With the VLOOKUP, you'll need to have your codes first and then the type second. With the index match, you can have, any, have them anywhere you want. You can have your type first, as I've got here in code second, or vice versa. This would probably be my preference. Okay, let's get started. This is how you do it. Now the first thing that we need to do is to enter some named ranges. So we're going to use our name box here. We'll just use static named ranges and we're going to enter in our named ranges. So let's pick up our codes first of all. So we go over here, scroll over our codes, and this can be as long as you want, pop over into here and we'll just type in code. Hit the enter key to make that a named range. Then into here, we want to pick up our type this is for our index match, these two. Click into here to put in our named range. We'll go type and hit the enter key once again to give us that named range. Now, for the VLOOKUP, we actually need a table. So we'll scroll over both columns that include all the information, go into here, and we'll call this R table, which is short for roster table. Hit enter. Now, with that done, we can use these codes, the static named range here for codes to fill all our data validation. So pop into here and highlight this whole area that where we want our roster to show our codes and we'll do our second one as well. We'll go down here, hold the control key, then the shift key, then up to data and data validation and we want to choose a list. So here we go, data, a list, click in the source box and hit the F3 key and we want to choose code. OK. And OK once again. Now, in all of this area here, if we click this down, we'll have all our codes that we put in. OK, so we have data validation in all the area. That's just to make it easy to work with. Now, the next thing that we want to do, we're going to put in our VLOOKUP conditional formatting first of all. So click in our first cell, C6, hold your shift key down and go all the way through to the bottom cell down here in O23. Now we'll go to the Home tab and choose Conditional Formatting and New Rule. It's use a formula to determine which cells to format. And we want to go in and put in this formula. Here it is over here. So here's our formula, equals VLOOKUP, 
C6. Now, you notice that with C6, and this is quite important, that we have it's a totally relative reference because we want to go over the whole area. So there's no uh, dollar sign before the C or the 6. Make sure that you do not have that as absolute in any way. Okay, there's our table. That's the whole table for the VLOOKUP. In other words, we're just simply saying if this VLOOKUP shows, depending on what cell we click, that it's early, then we want to do something. Well, what do we want to do? Well, let's format it. We'll choose Format, Fill, and we'll just choose a soft green. And choose OK, and then OK. So now if we were to choose an early shift in here, it'll change to a soft green. Let's try that again. Any one of our early shifts will change that to a soft green. So now we have our first lot of conditional formatting. Scroll over the area once again to highlight all the cells. Go Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules this time, and here's our rule. Just click Edit, and now copy where it says Early. Copy that over, go OK, add a new rule this time, use a formula to determine which cells to format, and paste it in. This time choose Late, because that's our other type, is Late. And then choose your formatting for this, we'll choose softer movie color, put that in, OK, new rule again, this time we're going to put in our night. And you can put as many of these in as you want, it doesn't matter. OK, and format this to a soft orange color. Right Now it should be that when we go in here, we choose a light, we're going to get a mauve color background, if we choose a night, we're going to get our darker color background. All right, that's how you do it with a VLOOKUP. How are we going to do it with index match? Exactly the same. I won't go through all three again, but I'll just show you. Highlight the area that you want. We'll grab the formula that we need. And we'll go into our conditional formatting. We're going to say new rule. And again, we're using our formula. And we'll put in the formula, which is index. And then we're using the, the two named ranges, one for type, which is our early, late, and night, and the other is for code, which is all our different codes. And we're saying if index type match equals early, then we're going to format this to a soft green. And we'll go OK. And then, of course, add the other two as well, just the same. This time we go Manage Rules, New Rule, and then pop the other two in exactly as you did with the first. Paste it in. This time it's late. And we're going to format our cell accordingly. We're going to make it the mauve color. And our last one will be night. So add a new rule, formula to determine what to format, paste it in, and this one is night. So there's the three of them in. And we'll choose our softest color here once again. So now that should work for us. That's the two ways that you can do it. When we pop in here now and we choose an early shift, it will change to green. If we choose a late shift, any of our late shifts down here, it'll change to mauve. If we choose any of the night shifts, then it will change to our soft orange color. So that's the process involved. There's the two ways, VLOOKUP and INDEX MATCH. Now I've shown you how to do it on a separate sheet so you can then adapt this to any roster set that you have. This is Trev from OnlinePCLearning.com. I hope you're having a really great day. Thank you very much for listening, and bye for now.